So here's the problem you were given yesterday. We're going to go a quicker version through this. So don't write anything down unless you're gone. Here's an opportunity for you to write it down. Or if you lost your packet and you're writing this down. So I look at this problem and my first thing is, is this an x squared or a y squared problem? Y squared. So you take out this piece of paper and you're referring to this the entire time. So I'm going to start by writing down this equation. y squared equals 4px. Then I take the equation I'm given and I need to rewrite it so that y squared is first. So to get rid of this fraction, which is negative 1 sixth, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 6 over 1. Negative 6 over 1. Now this cancels, this cancels, and I have y squared equals negative 6x. And you're welcome to put a 1 underneath still if you want to. So I rewrite it as y squared equals negative 6x. Okay, this is all part of step 1. When the y squareds are equal, I get to set these two quantities equal to one another. And my goal is to solve 4p. So to get p by itself, I divide by 4x. The x's cancel, and this is fine, but this reduces. If you're poor at reducing fractions, right now type in negative 6 divided by 4 into your calculator. Hit math fraction, enter, enter, and you'll see that this reduces to negative 3 halves. One of the six questions you are asked to do, one of the six questions you're asked to do down below is to find the value of p. So p equals negative 3 halves. For those that prefer decimals, p equals negative 1.5. Okay, so with a y squared problem, our parabola e either opens to the right or it opens to the left. Because p is a negative value, it opens to the left. Can you do me a favor right now? I know I'm going really fast if this is the first time I was teaching this. If you understand how I solve for p and how I determine if it opens to the left or right, can you go green cup? If you don't, be honest and go red cup. It's okay to be a red cup, okay? All right, now, this is the hardest part of the problem. This is the hardest part. Now I get to refer up to this. So it says the focus for y squared problems, the focus is p comma zero. So where I find focus, my p is negative 1.5 comma zero. Feel free to write that as a fraction if you prefer. So I come over and I find negative one and a half and zero, I make a dot, and I'm going to write an F next to it, representing the focus point. As a reminder, focus is like the food that the Pac-Man eats. Pac-Man always eats the food. The directrix is the equation x equals negative p. x equals negative, and now I'm going to write the p. p is negative 1.5. Well, the two negatives turn into a positive 1.5. So I find 1.5 on the x-axis, and I make a vertical line crossing through the x-axis. Now, if you took your fingers and you put them on the focus in the directrix, and you go, okay, what's halfway in between these points? You'd find the vertex. And in this case, the vertex is at the origin, which is 0, 0. We have one type left to do, but before I do it, another word for axis of symmetry is line of symmetry, if that's confusing to you. Line of symmetry is another word, sorry, is another term for axis of symmetry. And so, we know that the axis of symmetry is y equals zero. So the line y equals zero is right here, and that will take my parabola, and it will cut it in half to make it symmetrical. Now, how do I come up with drawing an accurate parabola? If you have not done this on your paper, please make a little x, y chart. We can start with 0, 0. Okay. When I plug 0 in for y, 0 in for y, 0 squared is 0. 0 times this fraction is still 0. So I graph the point 0, 0. Now, what's the first multiple of 6? So I'm going to plug in a 6. 6 squared is 36, 6 squared is 36, and 36 times negative 1 is negative 36. 
negative 36 divided by 6 is negative 6. So I'm going to graph the point negative 6, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so I'm going to do multiples of 6 going the opposite direction. I went up, let's go down. So negative 6 squared is also positive 36, and positive 36 times negative 1 6 is also negative 6. So now I'll go over to negative 6 and go down 6. Over to negative 6 and down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make sure you have arrows at the ends. And this problem is done.